Elon Musk's personal Tesla Roadster was the first ever electric car launched into space. It's currently orbiting the sun, and you won't believe how much it's worth now. Let me explain. In February 2018, SpaceX launched the Falcon Heavy rocket carrying Elon Musk's cherry red Tesla Roadster. This car is unique not just because it's in space, but also because it's equipped with a Starman spacesuit sitting in the driver's seat. The car is currently going around the sun, traveling at a whopping 74,000 miles the value hour. of this car has skyrocketed, although the original Roadster car cost around $200,000. But the Tesla Roadster Elon Musk sent to space is estimated to be worth somewhere in the millions of dollars due to its space travel. This Lamborghini employee had a vision no one understood. Let me explain. Horatio Pagani is the guy that founded the super successful hypercore company, Pagani. However, prior to this massive success, he was an engineer at Lamborghini and he saw a very special future for supercars that others just didn't. Kindly subscribe and here's how it went. So instead of accepting the fact that Lamborghini wasn't going to build supercars of carbon fiber, he instead went and built the company known for producing cores that are literal art built with the use of carbon fiber, aka Pagani. This mob boss wrecked a very rare Ferrari Enzo so hard that it was split in half, and the ending is just crazy. Let me explain. Stefan Eriksson used to be one of Sweden's most notorious mob bosses, and in 2006, he made headlines for driving at the crazy speed of 160 miles per hour. However, he was very intoxicated. Here's how it happened. He was driving at the staggering speed of 160 miles per hour in California when he hit a pole and split the Ferrari in two pieces. Now, you may be wondering, did he survive, and also what makes the Ferrari Enzo so special? Well, first off, Ferrari only made 400 Enzos, and on top of that, it's one of the most special modern-day Ferraris. Now, for Stefan, we'll see, despite the Ferrari being a lightweight supercar, he somehow walked away from the 160 miles per hour wreck with a cut lip. However, what happened to the Ferrari? Well, subscribe, because the Ferrari defied all odds and was somehow restored to better-than-new condition, and it even sold for a staggering $1.7 million at auction. The legendary rapper Jay-Z has an extraordinary car collection that is very elegant and extremely rare. Check this out. First, we have the Maybach Accelera, a one-of-a-kind masterpiece valued at $8 million. This luxurious futuristic vehicle accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds, making it a perfect combination of power and elegance. Next is the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, a symbol of Jay-Z's impeccable taste. This hypercar hits 0 to 60 miles per hour in an astonishing 2.4 seconds and boasts a top speed of 254 miles per hour. As a gift from Beyonce, it holds a special place in his heart. Also the price, nothing too special, just around 1.8 million dollars. Then we have the Pagani Zonda F, another standout in Jay-Z's garage, is an Italian Marvel limited to just 25 units worldwide. With a zero, 60 time of 3.6 seconds, this supercar is an embodiment of both speed and rarity. Yeah, this thing is about 1.5 million dollars. Now kindly check the comments for Pablo Escobar's collection. Pablo Escobar shot his own car and you just won't believe why. However, first let's dive into his insane car collection. First up, Escobar's 1974 Porsche 911 RSR, one of only 54 made. This beast dominated the racetrack and reflected the power and prestige of its owner. Word is that he loved racing it around his amazing estate. Now, you could say Escobar was a man of taste because he even had the ultra-rare 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. With only 1,400 ever produced, legend has it that he used this car to impress his business partners and rivals. Pablo Escobar also shot his own car, as I mentioned earlier. But why did he do it? Well, let me explain. See, Pablo Escobar had an interesting way of deciding what cars to add to his collection. And in this case, he bought a pink Cadillac from the early 1930s because he thought it looked similar to Al Capone. However, why did Pablo shoot his own car. Well, subscribe because, in his eyes, it had to have some flair, so he decided to shoot the car up to give it a more authentic gangster look. This guy did the craziest engine swap ever to a Toyota Supra. It's actually even crazier than Smokey Nagata's Toyota Supra V12. Let me explain. So pro drifter Ryan Turk decided it was time to make another drift car project. And what could be better than his Toyota GT86 with a Ferrari V8 engine? Well, what about an F1 V10 engine swapped Supra. And yes, this is crazy, but it gets crazy. Because the F1 V10 engine literally sounds like five orchestras playing a symphony together. But more on the insane sound and horsepower shortly. However, kindly subscribe because this MK5 Supra uses a 730 horsepower Judd F1 V10 engine. And it screams to an unbelievable 11,000 RPM. Also, here's the sound.
Few rappers have an artistic perspective on cars, like if you look at Drake and his love for Ferraris and Benzes, or the rapper Tot and his love for Bugatto, it's just all kinda basic. However, there's one rapper that has cars that you could compare to fine wine, aka Tyler the Creator. And yeah, he even made a rally car pink, so let me explain. Yeah, so Tyler owns a flipping E30 M3, a classic 1980s icon, and it holds a special place in his heart, as it inspired the song Beamer. However, the M3 0 to 60 time is only 0.9 seconds, which is not that impressive, but its legacy and simple design elements make it a loved car in the car community. But Tyler's appreciation for rally cars even extends to his stunning baby blue Lancia Delta Integrale Evolution. This rally legend was produced between 1989 and 1994. I don't have too much to say about it, but it's really Now, cool. why in the world did Tyler paint his Fiat 131 pink? Well, subscribe because he painted it pink to make a bold statement, and it resonates with his values. Do not follow the norm and embrace your uniqueness. Post Malone's epic core collection is made up of some incredible rides with two West Coast custom cores and a secret truck. Not only that, but they are so expensive. Let me explain. Posty Maloney's garage is full of expensive and powerful machines, such as the Lamborghini Urus for $230,000 and the Ford GT for $500,000. But it just gets better because he also has a Lamborghini Aventador SV that has aftermarket ports and costs over $490,000. And even a massive wrap that was made from Hennessy for $350,000. But the thing is, no car collection is quite complete without a Bugatti on it. And Maloney has an outstanding Chiron with over $150,000 in additional options that costs over $3 million. Now subscribe like a rock star because he gave West Coast Customs his Ford Explorer and 1966 Lincoln Continental to spec them out and they look quite sick. You won't believe what car the poorest president chose for his official mode of travel. It's the coolest thing ever. He's kind of like the Mr. Beast of presidents, but in reverse, sort of. Anyway, let me just explain. So, when we look at previous presidents' cars, like Obama's armored Cadillac nicknamed the Beast, or Trump's custom-built Cadillac limousine that reportedly cost $1.5 million. Presidential cars have always been a symbol of power and prestige, but the poorest president, aka Jose Mujica from Uruguay, is well known for his humble lifestyle. Trust me, his car is nothing but amazing because while other presidents opted for luxury and fully equipped vehicles, this president chose a car that was both affordable and practical. He believed that the money spent on his car could be better used for the benefit of the country. And so everyone loves him. Kindly subscribe because the car Jose drives is none other than the classic 1987 Volkswagen Beetle with a cute baby blue color.